Hey guys, this is John of JohnOnline.ph and what you're looking right now is the iPad Pro M4 13 inch running on uh, the latest iPad OS 26. In case you didn't know, Apple has just unveiled their newest iPad operating system along with the iOS 26, Mac OS 26 and yeah, there's a new naming scheme. Basically 26 for 2026. This one is running on developer beta. So yeah, you can see in here iPad OS 26. So uh, time to uh, show you what uh, this iPad OS can offer. So first of all, we now have in here the liquid uh, liquid glass design. That's what they want to call it. So um, we actually have a different set of icons now. It is inspired by the icons that we can see on the Vision OS. So it's really nice to see that we have in here on the iPad OS. Basically, Apple wants to unify everything uh, with iPad OS 26. So since uh the previous generation you could actually customize the icons if you want so despite having a liquid glass we actually have in here you know customization we could actually choose the dark mode similar to the uh, previous uh, generation we could also use the clear one which is the new one so it looks like glass and a tinted glass that looks like this so if you want to have a tinted glass for your icons which is pretty cool but i would opt for the default one which is personally what I prefer. So aside from that one, there are many things that has been changed uh, with the iPad OS 26. Aside from the design, we also have in here a better multitasking. And of course, we still need to activate the stage manager over here. But if we want to do like a Mac OS like multitasking, we can finally do that with the iPad OS. So this is actually a multitasker's delight. So one of the things I love in here is that, okay, sure, we open the uh, uh, the files up, right? Yeah, sure, let's do it in full screen mode. Now, we also have here the menu bar. So as you can see in here, we do have here the menu bar similar to the Mac OS. It actually unifies the UI that we can see on Mac OS. And we now have it here on the iPad OS. We got file, edit view, go window, help, and everything for the files. Now, if I want to minimize it or just like, you know, a smaller, I want to have a smaller window for the files app, we could actually have these three buttons uh, that looks like a traffic light, which is actually present on the Mac OS. So yes, you could press that one, the green button, and now you could adjust uh, the window. And speaking of windows, as you could see in here, this one is actually more flexible compared to uh, the previous generation of iPad. So this time, you'll have the flexibility for the size of the window that you are opening. And yes, you could also do that to exit an app. And if you want, you know, we could just open multiple windows at once if you want. Yeah, we can already maximize the screen space of the iPad OS or the iPad Pro uh, 13 inch that we have right now. This is such a beautiful um, multitasking uh, on the iPad OS. Aside from that one, we also have here the expose mode. So it's actually easier to um, open the apps and check which ones are you gonna open or close. As you can see in here, different windows different sizes depending on what, what you want so if you have two safari windows that's that you want to open side by side you can actually do that here with ipad os 16 which is pretty cool by the way and of course uh just a uh, short tip you could actually move and resize like this just click and hold to uh the green button over here and you could actually move and resize like this and of course you could actually do it like this for the other side and if you have any other applications oh i'm still getting used to it if you have any other applications that you want to open we could actually just do this and then just do it something like this yeah you could actually do that so there's like windows on top of other windows which is pretty cool again it's like uh the mac os that we have uh right now again this is something that productivity uh People who love productivity uh, would really appreciate on this one. The ex expose, uh, the multitasking, the windows, and everything. Aside from that one, we also have in here, you know, the folders in the dock. You could actually put that one over here on the dock. So this is my downloads folder. And you could see in here, similar to the Mac OS, we could open the files that are on uh, the dock. So another cool thing about uh, this 
operating system is actually the files app we now have in here a fresh and more flexible files app as we can have in here as you can see in here as we got in here like the different um information and we could actually adjust the columns for this one similar again to a uh, finder on the mac os so basically they brought all the features that we love on the mac to the ipad not only that we could also create a folder or edit a folder and if we want we could actually uh customize the folder add some icons into it and even change the colors if we wanted to so if you want, like to have a yellow folder that has an icon like this you could actually do that or even use an emoji like this yes you could actually do that so this one will give you more freedom and uh, more flexibility with the files app so if you have a lot of applications like me i'm using an ssd sometimes with uh, my ipad to edit videos this is such a welcome feature and this is a feature that i really really love now we also have in here uh the background task uh so i'm not sure if this is working so let's see if we could make davinci resolve work on this one so basically we can export or download large files on the background of the ipad so let's say i i want to uh render this one let's see export let's see let's see, let's see let's export this one the thing is that when we export and when we close the window it's gonna exit but now we actually have background task Oh, it's not so present on the iPad. But yeah, uh, it's coming soon to the uh, DaVinci Resolve and also to Final Cut and other applications. But since this is better right now, unfortunately, we cannot try uh, background task. Okay, so we also have some other cool new apps uh, along with the iPad. So first, let's check out the preview. So this is the preview app that is present on the Mac. So this will let you open PDF or like any Office files that you have downloaded. So this is actually just a, a quick look on some of the files that you have downloaded, which is really awesome, especially if you are uh, like an office type of person who is always downloading Excel files, PDFs, images like this. This is such a feature that I really love as I don't need any other applications. I just need preview. And of course, if I want to doodle on something or add an annotation, I could also do that with the preview app here on the iPad. Again, they have Macified the iPad OS. Of course, we also have in here uh, the journal app. I rarely use it. Actually, I haven't used this one on my iPad, but if you on my iPhone rather. So if you're using journal app on your iPhone, you could actually also use that one on your iPad now. Okay, so we also have this phone app, which is basically the phone app on uh, your uh, iPhone. So if you want to answer some calls, check out uh, the contacts and everything, it's going to be here on the uh, new phone app. Uh, if you have a Mac and also if you have, uh, you know, an iPhone, everything's going to be here with the phone app, which is, again, pretty cool. And yeah, lastly, we have in here uh, the games application, which is basically a hub or the, uh, the app that combines every games that you have on your iPad right now. So when you open games app, as you can see in here, it quite takes a quite a while maybe because it's still on developer beta but we have in here all of the games that i i i downloaded for my ipad before some of them are not installed here on my ipad anymore but we could see it here uh with the ipad os 26 gaming app of course we could also check out some of the apps uh like sniper elite 4 like suggested applications made by apple for you and of course we got in here the arcade app pretty cool play together uh play together tab and of course the uh library so uh when we open let's say a game let's say resident evil 3 of course we're in game mode that is a feature that's already present on the previous uh generation of uh, ipad os but what we have right now is actually a game overlay which lets you see you know the achievements that you have done with the game and of course some friends that you have and of course to adjust the display settings and if you have a controller a sound it's gonna be everything in here on the games app which is pretty cool now as for the developer beta of course the performance isn't the best one that uh 
we have right now but if we're gonna play some games surprisingly compared to my previous experience with the previous generation of ipad os developer beta this one is actually smoother than i expected i didn't uh i haven't experienced yet any lags or any slowdowns everything so far with the developer beta of ipad os 26 was smooth so i was actually expecting there's a lot of bugs in here as we got here a new ui and of course uh, a lot of new things but yeah surprisingly not that much but yeah this is the ipad os 26 you've seen uh, the liquid glass design you've seen the new apps and new features so yeah if you got any questions just leave it out in the comments and we'll try to answer that one for you so i guess that's it for our video for the ipad os 26 so if you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click the subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my youtube channel so once again i am jam jamonline.ph thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video